Briggs is sitting in the secret square. And the contestant who picks it first could win a prize package worth over $2,100. Which star is it? Glenn Ford. Marty Allen. Wally Cox. Gail Fisher. Vincent Price. Connie Stevens. Mel Brooks. Suzanne Blanchette or Paul Lynn, all in the Hollywood Squares. And here is the master of the Hollywood Squares, Peter Martin. Thank you, Kenny, and a very good evening. Welcome to the Hollywood Squares. Hello, stars. Hi, Glorious group this, uh, this evening. Mr. Mel Brooks, we haven't seen in some time. Wonderful. Well, I see you're wearing glasses, Peter. Yes. Right. You Something know, about... I've been on the show several days. You've never seen me. No. No, it's the first time you've ever really seen me. Right. I didn't know that you were tall and gorgeous. Yeah, you're still a little bit of a blindo there. Yeah. <laughs> I would like you to make welcome on this circle. This is Betsy Connor, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, Betsy Connor. Hello. Welcome to the Hollywood Square. Thank you very much. Betsy Connor is from Star, uh, Scarborough, New York, now a commercial artist, a housewife. She is married to a pharmacist. They have a baby girl. Good luck this evening. Thank you very much. Our Mr. X is Francis Sattler. How do you do, Mr. Hi. Sattler? Good to see you. An automotive instructor at Ventura College. Francis is married, father of four, and has one granddaughter. What a young-looking, handsome grandfather. He must be very proud. We'll have a commercial word or two. We'll return, and we'll play our first game for the Secret Square. After this, the players here is to get three stars in a row, either across or not a diagonal. It is up to them to figure out if the stars give me a correct answer or making one up. That's how they get the squares. Every game is worth $250, and the person who wins the most cash tonight will win a brand new car. In addition, in our first two games, they play for a Secret Square. Right, Kenneth? Right, and Circle starts the Secret Square, which includes this handsomely styled sofa by Crayler, one of the world's largest makers of upholstered furniture, performance-tested fabrics, deep-seated comfort from Crayler, and Maslin's inner circle carpeting in a subtle swirling pattern made of Cumuloff nylon from Monsanto. Good looks that will last for years. Maslin makes all carpets that way. And there we are. <laughs> oh, jeez. It's a pedigree to... Great Dane. Yeah. Is that so? Oh, yeah. you, what did you do? Oh. <laughs> And it's from Dr. Pet Centers, pet specialist, coast to coast, all pets, pet care, and feeding products in clean, bright, modern facilities. And lollipops, the pet treat that dogs and cats love. Feed your dog lollipops, now in four flavors, beef, liver, chicken, and regular lollipops. Plus, sheets and pillowcases from Dan River. This is Taffy Twist. Dan River has stripes, plaids, wildflower, fairy tales in 412 polyester and cotton. In sheets and pillowcases, Dan River runs deep. And Joe the Barman, Sunbeam Vista's convenient bar appliance that crushes ice, mixes drinks, even blends your party dips. Joe the Barman from Sunbeam Vista, plus the Con Prelude Organ with a strummer and other exclusive features designed to make your home an instant music hall from Con. We have time to play the game. Let us show the whole audience the secret square. You know, the stars are brief in advance to help them with their bluffs. I know that uh, Circle won the toss backstage, so bet you a good start. Uh... Wally Cox, please. You are an average person. Well, How many pounds I of know, you are... But hmm? I'm sorry. Oh, excuse me. You are an average person. How many pounds of you are muscle within five? <laughs> All of me. <laughs> That's 98. 90, used to be 97. I used to be a 97-pound weekly. Mm. <laughs> Come on. 98 pounds. I disagree. No, 66, uh, Wallace, 66, if you're average. And we have a circle oh, there, a good start. Francis, you okay? Call in, please. Raquel Welch recently stated, it's a carnival atmosphere, but I can understand its popularity. It's a batchy, sweaty, funky life, but I enjoyed it. What is it? Uh, a choir girl. <laughs> <laughs> no, it must have been uh, her movie experience with uh, roller skating. I agree. That's it, the roller derby, and uh, an extra there. Betsy. Glenn Ford. Inside the White House, Glenn, you'll find rooms named the Green Room, the Red Room, the Yellow Room, and the Blue Room. Now, what's the president, or oh, rather, what, uh, what's President Nixon's office called? Oh, you ran out of colors there. It's the Oval Room. Uh, wait a minute now. The, I think it's the Oval Room. When you're set, you know, when they say come into the office, they say the president's office. I, I don't know. I, I think it's the office. I know. President's office. I, I don't know. It's the office, I guess. I agree. That's it. Very simple. <laughs> we couldn't figure that, Glenn. Francis? Uh, Marty Allen, the block, please. 
On her last birthday, Marty, Jackie Kennedy received and his orchestra broadcasting nightly. <laughs> now, what happened in the studio? We had a chair that just turned over. It's all right. Would you pick that person up and get that? <laughs> <laughs> Marty, listen carefully. On her last birthday, Jackie Kennedy received a model replica of something that cost several million dollars, which she and Ari will be able to share for many, many years. What was it? Lake Michigan with two straws. <laughs> I don't think it would bother. Uh, he gave her everything. Mm -hmm. It would be, uh, uh, I think it's a new yacht. A yacht. I disagree. It's a new yacht, the Jacqueline. We uh, can't put a circle there. Betsy, we know that Marty is not the secret square. It's worth over $2,100. How are you playing it? Uh, Marty Allen. For $250. Actress Jill St. John recently stated that Henry Kissinger has the most fabulous one she's ever encountered. What was she referring to? She didn't say. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she said that. He has the, yeah, most... the most fabulous one she's ever encountered. Henry Kissinger. Well, evidently, Just... Jack Jones don't have it. <laughs> it would be, oh, well, it would be his mind. His mind. I agree. That's it. Yes, very good. $250, Betsy Connor. <laughs> Suzanne? <laughs> Suzanne Plachette, one of the stars of the Bob Newhart Show, along with Bob, was our secret square. Nobody chose Suzanne, so we'll add the $2,100 to another secret square for a total of $5,200. Try it, and next we'll start the secret square, which includes these additions. First, we'll fly you to London via Air Canada, the airline that flies to 44 cities in Canada and the Caribbean, 11 cities in Europe, including Moscow. Let's fly there together, Air Canada. And for the man of today, from Monte Cristo, an elegant $1,000 wardrobe of suits and sport coats and today's most luxurious new fabrics, it's the look of tomorrow tailored in the superb manner of Monte Cristo clothes, plus a complete line of his and her cosmetics, makeup, and skin care products from Vanda Beauty Counselors, Division of Dart Industries, and a $1,000 gift certificate from the famous Spiegel Catalog Company. Over 50,000 quality items providing value, selection, and economy. Spiegel, Chicago, 60609. Francis, you'll start the round. Gail Fisher, please. That's it. $5,254.38, Gail's special envelope. Listen, dear. Doris Day's theme song is Que Sera, Sera. We all know that. But did she introduce the song in The Man Who Knew Too Much, Love Me or Leave Me, or That Touch of Mink? Que sera, sera. Uh, the man who knew too much, love me or leave me, or that touch of mink. It was that touch of mink. I agree. No. <laughs> it was actually a drama. It was the man uh, that knew too much. Oh. Nobody won the I'm secret I'm sorry. Well, I wonder if I can get that, that puppy dog. Right I don't know. <laughs> well, back to the matter of money. Betsy, a break for you. Call in, please. According to an official at Buckingham Palace... Queen Elizabeth is seriously thinking of letting her son, Prince Charles, do something very important. What is that? It's either her hair <laughs> or Queen Julianne. <laughs> do something very important. Yeah. She's considering it. Considering it. Uh, to take over before, uh, which is, you know, usually... Uh, the death, I think, to take over before she actually... To become king. I agree. She is considering abdicating in favor of her son by 1977. Her silver jubilee. Very good, Paul. Two circles. Francis, your turn. Suzanne Plissett. Peter? Yes, love? I didn't come here to answer questions. I just came here to see you. Oh, that's so. lovely. You used to look so beautiful this evening. Thank you. Yeah. Hey, the yin-yang. You, I'm yes. sure you've heard of the yin-yang, mm -hmm. is the ancient two-part Chinese symbol that represents the balance between man and woman. Which is the female part, the yin or the yang? Uh, dear, I know this. I believe the yang is the female. I'll have to agree with No, you. it's the yin. <laughs> mm -hmm. I've always had the problem telling you. Yes, I know. Well, that's you. You can't put a circle there. You'll have to earn that yourself. Suzanne Plachette. For $500, true or false, although we hear a lot about certain freedoms in Sweden, young Swedes still prefer marriage as much as they always did. I, do you want to... Is that true or false? Oh, yes, it's quite true. 
I agree. No, it's false. New marriages <laughs> declined 35% last year as compared with figures just five years ago. You're on another streak, Suzanne. You know what? I say it with authority, and it's always wrong. That's the way the game should be played, Francis. Uh, Glenn Ford. Glenn, true or false? According to Rona Barrett's Hollywood, Hope Lang gave up playing the cello because she was afraid of becoming bow-legged. <laughs> uh, you know I know Hope. Um, I don't think Hope has anything to worry about. <laughs> um, yes, you know she did. It's true. I disagree. No, it's uh, true. <laughs> it is true. We uh, put a circle there. I wouldn't have bought that for a million dollars. We have a commercial word. It's true. Price? Vinny, yeah. welcome back. Thank you. When a crocodile cries, oh. th does it mean he is unhappy? A crocodile, when he, does it mean he's unhappy? Well, he's unhappy because I'm wearing his little sister. Right here. <laughs> <laughs> is it when it's crocodile? <laughs> wow. Absolutely ridiculous. Only on one foot, mind you, Peter. I'm all yes. for crocodiles. Of course, yes. yes. But when a crocodile uh, does cry, does it mean he's unhappy? <laughs> It's the silliest question I've ever... Of course it means he's unhappy. Why would he cry? I agree. It's no. Happy. It means he has a fairly full stomach. When he has a full stomach, he cries. But then he's happy. We have an X there. And uh, oh, Francis, you're back in the game. Connie Stevens. Connie, incidentally, opens tomorrow at the Roosevelt Hotel in New Orleans. And that's nice. Catch a play. <laughs> <laughs> in, in uh, rather, the 1972 Nobel Peace Prize was not won by someone from either the U.S., Russia, Israel, or Japan. Why not? <laughs> Because I believe Prime Minister Heath of London won that. No, I disagree. The Nobel Peace Prize was not awarded this year. And, uh, <laughs> no wonder. With an X, and Betsy, your turn. Go right ahead. Mel Brooks, please. Mel, to block, according to the World Book, what was the earliest use man made of fire? Bite control. <laughs> oh, no. I was there. I was there, and the lady, mm. when she was attacked mm -hmm. by the male right. or the man, yes. she hid in the fire. <laughs> According to the World Book, what was the earliest use man made of fire? <laughs> to warm up. Warm up. I agree. Yes, uh, cooking with fire didn't come till later. Yeah, it was a circle fast as your turn. Go right ahead. Uh, Marty Allen, please. Marty, I uh, might have gone to Wally, but block diagonally, this still may work out. David Jansen once took a picture of Jack Webb that David says is his favorite because it shows Jack doing something he rarely does. What's he doing in the picture? Stealing hubcaps off Raymond Burr's wheelchair. <laughs> That'd be... What would Raymond... Uh, oh, Jack Webb. Mm. Something he rarely does? Yeah. Be something he never does, and that would be... He never smiles. Maybe smiles. he has a picture of him smiling. I'll agree. That is it. Marty, you played the game beautifully. Let me explain something. The cubicle open is Wallace Scott's. If you are correct, you'll have the $500. Incorrect, X will get the square. Wallace, up to you, sir. True or false? When ants go to war, that's A-N-T-S, <laughs> yes, they often engage in chemical warfare. Ah, uh, why didn't you let her pick me? <laughs> You're the only open, Wallace. Yeah. But when ants go to war, they often engage in chemical warfare. Is that true or false? <laughs> we take it personally, you know. Mm. Uh, they engage in chemical... <laughs> yes, of course. Naturally, they have a department for that. He said, yeah, it's true. I agree. Uh, a certain chemical that they manufacture in their bodies causes intense fear when sprayed on a victim. We have $500 for Betsy Connor. <laughs> Well, Betsy, you have $500, and that is very important because the player who wins the most cash tonight will win a special bonus prize. It's the 73 Vega. Rides comfortably, corners flat, steers and operates easily. The economy hatchback Vega Coupe. Incidentally, if the show should end in the middle of a game, we'll add $50 to uh, our players for each square they have on the board, and we'll play the game until we hear the buzzer. If one contestant has selected a star, when that buzzer rings, then we will complete his or her turn. It's the third game of the match, and I believe we'll start with Betsy. Uh, Gail Fisher. Did George and Martha Washington name their son after anyone famous, yes or no? 
Yes, they did. It was uh, after the uh, vice president, uh, Jefferson Thomas, Thomas Jefferson. Betsy? I disagree. No, the reason they didn't is because they didn't have any children, so they couldn't have done that with a servant. Francis? Paul Evans. Paul, in The Wizard of Oz, the tin man wanted a heart and the lion wanted courage. What did the straw man want? He wanted the tin man to notice him. <laughs> The tin man wanted a heart, mm -hmm. and what, what did you say? The, the other? tin man wanted a heart, the lion wanted, wanted courage. courage. Yeah, the straw man, what did he want? Straw man, oh boy. Straw man, heart. Straw man. Mm. The straw man wanted to be able to cry. To be able to cry. I disagree. No, he wanted a brain. Yeah. Mm -hmm. For the next, and Betsy, it's your turn. Uh, Wally Cox. You, uh... You walk in on your wife one afternoon and find her rubbing mayonnaise into the coffee table. Now, she explains that she is trying to get rid of something. What? Yes, uh, I often catch her doing that. Mm-hmm. She's trying to get rid of me. Yeah. No, Wallace, this That's not the way serious. to do it, though. No. No. What does she want to get rid of? Oh, She's rubbing oh. mayonnaise into the coffee table. Into the coffee table? Yes. Yeah. She wants to get rid of spots. Spots. I agree. Which is their dog. <laughs> yeah. No, water rings. Yes, we can accept spots for the circle and the commercial. <laughs> we'll be back. Uh, Vincent Price, please. Someone is performing acupuncture on you. Now, first he or she inserts the needle into your skin. What happens next? Well, Peter, you see, somewhere in this great, big, wonderful world, there's a little doll that's going to drop dead. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Someone is performing acupuncture on you. First, he or she inserts the needle into your skin. What happens next? Well, you see, Peter, somewhere in the... <laughs> uh, what happens next? Yeah. Well, then they try another place. Oh, then they put another needle in. Yeah. <laughs> I disagree. No, they turn the needle. Oh. That's the... You've done that many a time, Vincent, with an X. Betsy? Lynn Ford. Glenn to block diagonally, according to the American Wig Association. If you have a synthetic wig, should it be washed in cold, warm, or hot water? A synthetic wig, washed in cold, warm, or hot water. Yeah. Well. Oh, boy. Uh, um, well, yeah, if you wa wash in cold water, you know, that wouldn't do a darn thing. If you wash in hot water, it would probably hurt it. So I think that would be, should be washed in... Uh, Warm Luke, water. Lukewarm water, yeah. I agree. No cold water with a mild liquid detergent. We can't put an exterior. You'll have to earn that yourself, Francis. Uh, Glenn Ford. For $250, vying for that car here. Soldiers oh, are sometimes referred to by the nickname GIs. We all know that. Now, yeah. the G stands for government. What does the I stand for? The G stands for what? Government. GIs. Government. What does the I stand for? The I stand for... Yeah. Uh, in, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Um... <laughs> Issue. Issue. I agree. Uh, probably since everything he wears is government issue. With an X and $250. <laughs> Peter, uh, we just may have ourselves a tie game here. We're going to clear the board to start this round with Francis. Go right ahead, sir. Uh, Paul Lynn, please. If the skin around your gold wedding band has turned dark, it probably means your system has a great deal of something. What? Uh, bigotry. <laughs> 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 it uh, probably means you have a high uh, acidity, uh, an acidity. Acid. I agree. That's right. A good start with the next. Betsy, go right ahead. Yeah, good. No. One of the members of Robin Hood's band of merry men was named Alan A. D Dale, and it was his job to keep everybody happy by doing something to relax them. What? Well, they were merry men. They mm -hmm. were merry. You know, they were merry. Yeah. So uh, I happen to know that Alan Dale, it's Alan a Dale, isn't uh -huh. it? Yes, it's Alan Adale. Alan Dale's working in Chicago. Uh, uh, actually, he was a minstrel. He was a singer. Singer. I agree. Yes, Good girl. a minstrel. Yeah. Francis? Uh, Suzanne Pichel. Within one hour, according to recent studies, how much time does an average father spend alone alone with his children every day, within an hour. 
One hour. One hour. I agree. Uh, five minutes, but we can accept <laughs> zero to one hour and five minutes, so we'll put an X there. Betsy, your turn. Yay! Gail Fisher. Gail Fisher to block. According to Pageant Magazine, which will make you look younger, shorter hair or longer hair? Well, I read it just the other day, and I don't agree, but they say... Let me explain Short. something here. Short. We know that uh, time is up. That is the buzzer. We must finish the question, so listen carefully. According to Pageant Magazine, which will make your hair look younger, shorter hair or longer hair? They say shorter hair. Shorter hair. Um, shorter hair. I disagree. Shorter hair. It holds the face up. We yeah. cannot put an X there. And he, uh, we did, no, time is up, and that's the way it has to work. Well, we'll add the cash total up right now. First of all, I look over to Francis Sattler. We find that we have $350 for you, sir. I'm sorry about that secret square this evening. <laughs> Lovely parting guest. We thank you for playing thank our game. Much. Thank you so much, Francis. And we look to Betsy, who had a, who had a good evening, $550. Yeah. Thank you very much. And that means you have won, love, our Chevrolet Vega oh, sedan. Congratulations to you. Thank you so much. Dear. Thank you. I would like to thank our panel once again, Mr. Mel Brooks. Always a pleasure to see you, my friend. Thank you, Peter. Suzanne Plachette, the Bob Newhart Show. Glenn Ford, my buddy. Marty Allen, Wally Cock, Gail Fisher, Mannix, Vincent Price, whose new uh, picture is entitled what? Theater of Blood. Yes, another cutie from Vinny. Yes. Uh, Connie Stevens, tomorrow night at the Roosevelt Hotel in New Orleans. Paul in the Paul Lynn Show on behalf of the stars. A lovely studio audience this evening. We wish you and yours a lovely evening. Bye-bye. See you here next week. Thank you very much. Thank you.